Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, I have an idea to start an Oracle ASM management uh, sessions. Uh, next uh, three, four sessions are going to be on uh, complete understanding of Oracle ASM, automatic storage management, how automatic storage management works in rack or standalone uh, you know, restart services and how my uh, database IO request will be handled by my ASM and then how the IO tuning performance is managed by my ASM. Uh, whenever the user request comes to my database, how uh, ASM is smart enough to take a request and then process it at my disk group level, at my disk level and then pass back the result to the end users. So I think I'm going to cover it with the live demonstration. I'm I'm sure after this session, after this 3-4 session, uh, in terms of Oracle Restart service or in, in terms of Oracle Rack services. So before I start with the today's session and if you are new to my channel, always go back to YouTube and then, and then search for Malik 34 and then please do subscribe. If you missed out my previous videos, always you can go back to YouTube and refer my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, please share, like and comment. In this today's session, I'm going to show you uh, what are the topics I'm going to cover uh, in this uh, uh, ASM course, um, you know, and then, uh, you know, in my next uh, two or three sessions, we are going to complete this entire uh, ASM course. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be very helpful for you guys who are already working as a database DBA administration and also, uh, you know, started learning for the rack infrastructure so this is the foundation for your rack infrastructure understanding so this is going to be very interesting uh, here is the introduction so this course i am going to cover uh, what is asm and what are the performance benefits and what is typing rebalancing mirroring and what are the asm tools and then how you can going to add your disk to the asm disk group and then how you can drop it and how the rebalance is happening and how the high performance can be uh, managed and how how you can take your asm metadata backup so everything i'm going to cover with the live example and demonstration so in this today's session, I'll just cover what is ASM and uh, what are the advantages. So if I go with what is ASM, ASM is a database file system which provides a cluster file system and value manager capabilities, right? So this ASM is introduced in Oracle database version uh, 10G onwards. So here I said uh, cluster file system. What do you mean by cluster file system? Cluster file system is nothing but it's a shared file system where you know two or three instances uh, can be able to access your shared storage that is going to be your clustered file system, right? So SM is uh, mainly for my clustered file system uh, provisioning and value manager capabilities. So what do you mean by value manager capabilities? Value manager, you might have seen if you're already working as a Oracle admin and you're already working as a Linux admin, you will be knowing volume manager. Volume manager is like, a, a, you know, third party software where you, where uh, uh, volume, uh, that software can handle your uh, disk IOs and, uh, you know, disk uh, mirroring, disk striping, and, uh, you know, you can, uh, whatever the IO input comes to your storage and uh, your value manager or third party software is smart enough to handle those IOs and then value manager is also used in, in case of, uh, you know, clustered file systems. So, if you use Oracle ASM, so you no need to purchase any value managers. That is again a cost saving there. So uh, one of the advantages uh, of using this ASM. And what are like what are the benefits of using Oracle ASM? ASM is a database service that provides ASM is a database service that provides load balancing in parallel across disk drives. Prevention of disk space fragmentation. As the word itself says, what that mean? The load balancing, right? So whenever you enter any data or whenever you request any data, so data will be, you know, striped or mirrored across entire disk. If you're using four disk, your data will be written across all four disk and data will be retrieved from all four disks. So the whatever the incoming request goes, incoming request comes for any data so that will be distributed across IO will be distributed across all the disks 
so that kind of load balancing and prevention of disk fragmentation so you know it is going to provide uh, the disk fragmentation uh, one of the uh, uh, i can say one of the bottleneck for if you are working as a traditional database that the disk fragmentation is one of the uh, bottleneck right if you are accessing only certain part of the disk regularly and rest other part of the disk if you are uh, not accessing you are not 100% utilizing the disk so that can be avoided using asm and online disk space recognition so asm is smart enough to keep track of my uh, disk status and disk data and disk status and everything will be managed online and data redundancy to provide fault tolerance so your data will be mirrored across the disk in case of any one disk fails your mirrored copy will be available in the other uh, disks so that fault tolerance can be reduced using asm and asm can be built on top of vendor supplied storage mechanism so you know asm can support multiple uh, wide range of storage services you can build your asm on multiple uh, storage uh, services support storage services so everything i'm going to cover with live examples what is redundancy how you can uh, do mirroring uh, like normal mirroring high mirroring and you know uh, external mirroring so everything i'm going to show you as i uh, proceed further and then if i can compare with software stack with asm and without asm how it looks so this left hand side if you can see this is my uh, software stack without asm and this right hand side is going to be with asm if you see these are my storage disks so you can see uh, four storage disk here and here i have four storage disk here and if i have db1 and db2 and db1 and db2 these two database resides data is residing in these files in this storage and this database to access this storage you can have your volume manager and the file system so this value manager and file system will be installed on top of this operating system and these databases i work will be handled by this value manager and this file system so rather than using this value manager and file system you can just use your asm so this asm is going to handle these two database io request whenever the request comes to database one and that will be handled by asm and then it will go to a particular data and then it will retrieve the data similarly any request comes via db2 and then this asm is going to handle that request and whatever the requested data will be searched across the disk and then you know return back to the uh, database so if you are not using asm you have to purchase uh, your volume manager and then the file system and then this is going to be extra cost and then that again you know is going to uh, handle all the iowa request from db1 and db2 and then it will retrieve the data from the storage and return it back to the databases and these are like applications all application will connect to my database so that that is a you know simple words how your asm will be replaced with the uh, you know with the use of any uh, external or third party value manager so mirroring and striping right so mirroring and striping mirroring is nothing but you know you are keeping a duplicate copy of your record right so if you see this particular disk has data a and then the same data is mirrored into again uh, data a so in case of this disk goes again you will be having your mirrored copy here if this disk goes you will be having your mirrored copy here similarly if you compare these two disks the same data b is copied into this disk in this data b and then if this disk goes and you will have your data b in this disk your asm your database will access data in this disk and if this disk goes goes down or crashed your data will be available in this disk so mirroring is nothing but a cop a keeping a duplicate copy of your data so you can go with the high mirroring high uh, redundancy or normal redundancy or external redundancy so external redundancy means there is no mirroring so i'll be having only one copy of data and this data will be copied uh, using some other third party or external tools so asm will not keep a copy of that you have to use a third party software third party tool to copy and keep a backup of this one 
that is external redundancy and coming to the normal and high redundancy normal redundancy means two copies one is original and one is a duplicate copy two copy two two way uh, mirroring like two copies keeping two copies is a normal redundancy high redundancy means keeping a three copies one is original and then two are duplicate so you, if you keep a three copy of your uh, data it will be like high redundancy so that is about mirroring and striping is nothing but if you compare here these four disks it is unstriped and if you compare this four disk here it is a striped so what happens in the unstriping all your data will be reside under disk uh, B I can say A B C D these are the four disk A B C D all your data will be in disk B and then whenever a database I O request comes it always will be accessing from the disk B that means your this disk B is hot disk I can say it will be always having I O and other disk uh, disk A and disk C and disk D these will be like idle there is a very less or minimal I O so you are not making optimal use of your disks so you have to use all your disk IOs and then you have to use 100% IO utilization and you can always use uh, like you know best performance out of your disks so this is going to be in the case of unstriped so it is not advisable and if you go with a striped disk here so whatever data here like I am going to distribute across all my four disks whenever there is a IO request comes via database data will be retrieved from all my four disks so always all my four disks will be having IO operations and all four disks will be like hot disks and you know I am using the optimal use of all the four storages so basically striping means you know writing your data across your all the disks equally right so that is mean you know you are making use of your all disks to the optimal use so this is about mirroring and striping so I'm going to cover uh, rest of the topics in my uh, you know next sessions about ASM benefits and uh, uh, disk group uh, dynamic rebalancing you know and then I'll proceed with the uh, ASM architecture there are a lot more to cover and uh, you know I as uh, I can proceed in my uh, future slides so I'm going to explain everything in detail with uh, live uh, commands and you know uh, showing into my lab environment and you know creating some disk and then uh, you know uh, checking it uh, at the ASM level how it looks and what different ASM instance as compared to my database instance and everything I'm going to cover in next uh, two three sessions uh, until then uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you guys